Project Haiti has been an incredible journey for the U.S. Green Building Council and our many partners who have come with us along the way. Six years ago when USGBC started this project, we got into it because we were trying to provide some relief for a country that had just been ravaged by an absolutely horrible earthquake that left tens of thousands of children without homes and without parents. Since then, the architecture has come together, the construction has come together, and importantly, we have been able to engage the local Haitian community, guided by our global partners, to build this beautiful center to fruition so that this can become the home for many, many children who are waiting to have a home. We wanted to make a model that Haiti can be proud of and that would serve as an example for the nation and also that it can be done in Haiti. What we're trying to do here is empower Foundation Enfant Jesus with a building that allows them to break the cycle of poverty in Haiti. It's going to be a landmark for the nation to be able to come and learn about what real child protection is about. And the goal was to be able to show that it can be done here can be done cost effectively. And you know, when history's written on this thing and people see the way this building actually works, and there's so little operating cost, and all of that money is able to go back into programming for these children, that's why we did LEAD. That's what LEAD means. Because we wanted to produce a low energy building, the challenge with a concrete building is it heats up in the sun. So we really started to think about how could we create a building that would really work in Haiti and keep it extremely simple. The building is arranged to capture the trade winds. Naturally ventilated, high louvers bring air through every room. The concept of the architecture is to be able to bring the outside in or the inside out, and so the, the doors on the first floor will open up. These large bifolding doors will create indoor-outdoor spaces, so the life of the building will really sort of spill out into this larger courtyard. Everything that's on this building, for the most part, is handmade from the railings to the doors, the artwork, it's all Haitian, handmade. And there's a, a true sense of pride that they're doing something that's gonna be here for a really long time. You know, we really wanted to work with local craftsmen, integrate arts, and respond to the strong culture that's already here. The idea is to create the ambience of the children playing together in harmony with nature and also the integration of art in any building that they are doing in Haiti to give the sense of identity and beauty. This is a project that should be considered a model for Haiti. Doing better construction with local contractors and actually being able to transfer the knowledge and leave it in Haiti. One lead building is not gonna solve Haiti's climate vulnerability or serve every child in need. But what it is gonna do is provide a three-dimensional textbook for design in countries that are as vulnerable as Haiti is. It takes a village to raise a child. And literally, it has taken a village to establish this center. So I want to call out our significant partners and contributors. Thank you for taking this bold decision. Your vision is quickly coming to fruition. U.S. Green Building has been an amazing partner. I could never think Rick and Roger and Al and, of course, Thomas with his amazing design. And Mayesh has always been part of this program. And today, he's in the lead and he hasn't stopped. The most important thing for me personally is that this is going to give an opportunity for every child to actually have the power to fight back. So what I'm hoping is that one of the child will eventually become the leader of the U.S. Green Building Council. And that's a dream I will share today and make sure that happens.